Hey guys, welcome. I've been having trouble finding some ironclad videos because every run I have generic good stuff into barricade endgame, generic good stuff second wind block, wind game, or some kind of element of dead branch. So I said, okay, how about I show you guys how to go infinite, give you a primer to go infinite the moment you get sundial. So here's that. Enjoy. Hey, Packmaster still on? Whoopsies. Oopsies. All right. I guess we could do some Packmaster Ascension climbing as well. We could do that. Ooh, rare relic, rare card, or snipey, snipey. Well, I'm clicking the rare button. Okay. Okay. Now, that doesn't necessarily help me decimate elites, but that's a sick relic, especially going against Hexaghost. Do I dare say I'm good against Hexaghost? Do I dare say? You know, I've been having trouble because my Ironclad runs have been so dominant. They've been so dominant, I didn't want to put them on YouTube because it's like, the Ironclad runs are just like dominant, but where's the sauce? You need some element of sauce, right? How many leads do I want to do? I'm thinking I could do... Three. I think I could do three. Um... Um, I'm kind of thinking I want this path first. Because it's like two elites and two, it's not too crazy. Over here is a little bit too crazy. Uh, if I dare say so. Yeah, let's go this way. I like it. Wow, zero damage. Must be nice. So what are ways, some ways we can break this Tungsten Rod? Alright, so a couple of things. We could feel happier about hemokinesis. That's one reason, that's one thing. What else? Tori is disgusting, apparitions are sick. In general, it's just saving a lot of HP. It's just generally saving me a lot of HP. I'm here looking so you ain't a line. Oh, I ain't alone, appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate it, mi pana. How'd you know about me, Pana? Because I've been studying Spanish. What's up? Hey, hey, enjoy your lurkage, brother. Enjoy your lurkage. Fire breathing. I did it. I picked the card that I shouldn't pick. So Rupture could proc with Ride so long as you're taking one damage. So Rupture is scary. I think to spec into because it won't work normally like it would with Pain or Combust or Brutality. You need to get something that does two damage. So in that case, it's Bloodletting Offering... Bloodletting Offering and um, Hemokinesis. What's up, Adder Smasher? How you doing, man? Yeah, what can I do to special the Ironclad runs, guys? Because, like, I have... I want to put Ironclad on YouTube, but it's like... The runs are just... Garden Variety dominating Iron Shed. And what's... What is... Like, I just dominate on the Iron Shed every single time. I don't, I don't... How do I make it unique? More max HP? I could just... I guess I could just put the good runs. I just have some good old fashioned nightclub runs. Nice and chill, I guess. I've done all the block builds. I've got I get like infinite barricade every, every run. Uh should I go for losing taking damage? I don't want to lose any more max HP, but I don't really want to take 23 damage to the face when I'm about to face... Okay, 22 damage to the face when I'm about to face two elites. I'm not really in the business of doing that. Hmm. Hmm, I've done a lot of infants in Ironclad as well. Uh, if I take damage, okay, I'll lose max HP. Fuck. We're gonna be the, the non-max HP iron, iron Chad. This is the least chatty Iron Chad I've ever had. Oh, but we got Fire Breathing just for this fight. And tell me... Tell me you're not glad. Fire Breathing for the Triple Sentry and for the Hexa Ghost. And it's already done its job. Fire Breathing already has done its job. I can now remove it from the deck. 
with impunity. I'm gonna do the thing where I attack this thing because this guy's gonna die to fire beating every single time. And him adding dazes is actually not bad. Nice. Very good. Good job, Fire Rhythm. IP statue. Okay. You watch even okay, that, that makes me feel better. If you watch this with an American, then it makes me feel better because I've got a dime a dozen ironclad stomp in the spire kind of easy peasy. But maybe it's easy because I feel like maybe I'm the most confident in ironclad. Maybe that's the reason why, huh? So I should, I should just put them out there. Panagraph. Oh my. And oh yeah yeah yeah. Can I beat this? Yes, you can. Can I beat this? Yes, you can. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Sundial. Okay, who wants to go infinite? This is it. Sundial's here. That means I'm going to go infinite. Pommel Strike Shrug is infinite if I can make the deck down. So now we have a new lease on life. You see this, and the infinite is in the picture. Which, by the way, how am I killing the Hex Ghost? Also, secondarily, I'm 9 HP going into a hallway fight. Alright, let's go infinite. Let's try to make it happen somehow. Never, ever tell your friends what just happened here. Because Heart of Iron could have been really useful for the Hexa Ghost. But here I am. Using it for a thief. Never tell your friends what happened here. True Grit. True Grit is how you go infinite. You True Grit your strikes. And then... True Grit is too slow. Huh, I think I've done some runs that have Clash wins. Interesting. True Grit is too slow and also not the card I want to pick right now. I'm kind of worried about Hexagos. I guess Fire Everything Plus should get the job done. When Doggo, what's up? I gotta you were you inspired me to do some more D4 runs, so I might do some more D4 runs. Oh my god. Stop trying to kill me! What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Ah uh, see, look at my sundown, my sundown's going off. I said, ooh. All right, maybe maybe true infinite sundial is actually a thing. You know, I'm a believer. Every class can go infinite, yeah. Bloodletting. Okay, now we can make rupture a thing. We have a small little deck. We can make Shrooker plus. We can make fire breathing plus. We can make bash plus. Oh my god, it kills me. Fuck. All right, so two things. So. Mr. Karagi, stay tuned tomorrow for YouTube video. I'm I'm gonna put out a defect infinite with hologram. Stay tuned for the day after that because I'm putting out a silent. It's funny you ask. I'm putting a defect infinite tomorrow with hologram. The day after, I'm putting a defect a silent infinite with prepared. Yes, I want infinite with prepared. That one's gonna be a doozy. So, the next two days, you have two videos showing you infinite on two different classes. I really would love to click this with my Panagraph. Like, imagine I had two more HP. Click this, Panagraph, and now I have two upgraded cards. Instead, I have to leave. That is devastating. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Man, imagine. We did get some relics in Act 20. What's up, uh, Ferrari? Well, a rod does work in event damage, but it still kills me exactly. Unfortunately. If we trigger, we get closer to the... Nah, it's fine. I'm sure it was not bad there. Yeah, maybe I left too much damage to take. It's better redraw the cleave. Haha. Alright, trigger's coming in, baby. 
Very nice. Sandaz here. Alrighty, Blood Pot. Ooh, Barricade Reaper. Ooh. Want to make a Barricade deck? Or want to make a Reaper deck? Eh. eh. What about Brutality? And go Sundown Infinite and say, fuck the Barricade, fuck the Reaper. I want to just draw six cards a turn, find Second Wind or Fiendfire, and go Infinite. What if we really lean into the infinite here? Because Sundell is the infinite key. But it's crazy talk because Reaper is much better. Fine. Ooh, but Pyramid, Sundell, and we're already infinite. I'm already infinite. <laughs> I'm already. I guarantee you, you give me one pummel strike, and I'm already infinite. Now we need, we need we're not already infinite, but we're very close. And I guess we're in an infinite kind of mood. We're very very close. Oh, this is scary. I don't like the look of these guys at all. Pummel shrug gets there as well. Ow, 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 ow. What's your criteria for infinite? Well, the criteria is that I'll, I'll show you. Uh, basically, you need to. So look, look at my hand. Look at my hand, right? I have 10 cards in my hand and 5 cards in my deck. So as soon as I get down to... If I remove 5 cards, then my whole deck is in my hand. If my whole deck is in my hand, the next card I play will immediately trigger and do my draw. Like if I do Palm Strike Plus, it's going to immediately trigger my draw pile, which gives me Sundial, which is going to be energy positive. So if I just have... So in this situation, if I discard... If I exhaust 5 cards, I'm infinite. If I had something that was like Shrug It Off and Pommel. So just keep it, keep track of the fact that my hand is 10 cards and my deck is 5. If I ever get to a point where my whole hand is in my hand, then card draw becomes the precursor for infinite. And I'll try to show how that works in action. In a second here. That second one. Dropkick is also a precursor, yep. Wait, card draw, exactly. Exactamente. Got my Sundial Prog ready. Alright. Let's show you how it's all done. Alright, let's get a dropkick. Okay, shrug it off. That's the first part. You never done Dropkick Infinite? Well, I got a couple of videos of Dropkick Infinite. I've done Dropkick Infinite, even on classes that are not, don't have Dropkick. I mean, I've got, I've done all the things, right? So we got Shrug. That's already the first start. Now, removal technically is better, because removal gets us one step closer to Infinite. But there ain't no way I'm not clicking that button. You won't even find me being serious about that. I guess I could save... Would be a good way to go and get some cheap damage, right? Cheap damage is nice because uh, we're gonna have a small deck. But I really, I really believe in the infinite here, guys. I'm gonna go to the shop. The shop's gonna give me infinite. I 
really believe in the impact. Don't hit the bash. Nice. Owie. Super rude. Super rude fight, huh? If I draw blood in here, I'm in good shape. Make sure I have Sundial. Which I need it, by the way. I'm struggling. This thing's trying to kill me. Weak pot. Armor mids. Alright, now I'm going to buy a thing for infinite. I need a card for infinite here. And one of the cards is... Flash of Steel. There's my infinite. Flash of Steel. Shrug it off. Welcome, boys. We are infinite. You know what we could even do? Is buy the second true grit. Now we have two true grits. Flash of Steel. Shrug it off. We are already infinite. Wipey statue with the belt. And fantastic. Flash of Steel is infinite. So what else are you guys going to do? We can move a card. It's a slow infinite, but it's an infinite nonetheless. And I ain't complaining. No, I ain't complaining at all. And there's our infinite. Matter of fact, we can go ahead and... um. No, not infinite. Not every infinite is slow. Ferrari, no, no, no. I've got an infinite that go off in turn two. Oh, this is just a philosophical question, a uh, rhetorical quick statement about infinite being slow. Then, then, in which case, yes. What elite do we struggle with? How about I just not? How about I just don't? It's like even a lot of Reaper stuff, right? Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Everything's kind of nice here. So I want to try to get Sundial back. But we got to upgrade these sugar grits. Sugar grits are... I go also get it some but I won't be able to because it's, it's, it's already dead. It's already dead. Rupture. So do you guys want to do rupture for scaling? Do, do you think rupture is worth it because we have one singular bloodletting? And because my deck is so small, I can proc that bloodletting multiple times. So it gives me... It helps my infinite be quality of life. Because I have some strength to boot, right? Is Rupture relevant for the t fights where you can't go infinite? Where you get bloodletting, Rupture, Scaling for the fights that are not infinite? Burning Pact. Another way to go infinite. Let's go. Alright, infinite is fully on board, boys. We're fully locked and loaded for infinite. And Ink Bottle helps the infinite immensely. Alright. Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> this is a fight that I don't really want to trifle with. Don't draw into Carnage. Wait, don't draw into Carnage, dude. Please. Oh, I won't, I won't, I won't. No. 
Should I draw into Reaper first, see what happens? This help is not important. What's important is that I got through it. I used to keep out everything because my deck goes infinite. I see to survive. We survived. Sever so helps the infinite because it gets rid of skills. Gets rid of skills, and all I'm left with is one, two, three, four, five attacks. Wait, Sever so is actually pretty good. It's like second wind is good. Second wind fiend fire is great, even. But Sever Soul is like your budget second win just to go infinite. Gets rid of all the skills. And then you trigger the attacks. And boom. We're there. What do you guys think? You guys want to hold out for se sec second win or you want to just go? Who's a believer in just taking Sever Soul as our budget second win? Ew. Oh, you guys want bites? I'm in the business of removing cards, not adding them. Purity. Now, purity removes cards. Purity removes cards. Prismatic Shard RIP. You guys could have seen some Prismatic Shard Infinite. I would have done Prismatic Shard Infinite for you guys. Apparitions. All right. Apparence is by time for me to do infinite, basically. That's basically what it's saying. And let's go. That's important, guys, that I just get rid of everything. At all times. Alright. We gotta get rid of the whole deck. Strikes have to go. soon so who, who's gonna need bash in our infinite nobody right so we have apparition uh, rod we have three turns of potential to get our infinite so let's make it happen let's do this all right and now infinite is here There it is. Enjoy the infinite. There it is, boys. Yay. And that's what I'm talking about, Kuraga. You hear? Now what I could have done, what I could have done, was add some elements to make my life easier, like some kind of strength scaling. You know what I could do, because of, because of this uh, ink bottle, I could do something like this. The ink bottle allows me to do some carnage for quality of life. Yay. Now apparition kind of makes it so that I just kind of solve. Nothing discard, nothing draw, exactly. So, basically, whenever you do the draw, it's it procking the sundial. 
Boom. I can I can speed up this infinite, don't worry. I think I can speed up even by doing um something wait a second. I can probably speed it up by doing burning pact. Alright, carnage. And the next thing is that we gotta make sure we end on uh how do we get whirlwind? We could buy whirlwind just to make this uh, pay out, sure. It's not so bad, guys. So this got some dial perfect. We can do ink bottle stuff. Ink bottle stuff and perfect sundial. Nice, nice, nice. You guys wanna get P to get max HP? Sort of. Now, if our goal is to get infinite, two things that can happen here. We could say, who needs max HP? Well, max HP is a resource that I could use so that I can have setup time. But I'm going to need a, a lot of max HP for it to be worthwhile. Drag down speeds of the infinite. You guys are gamers. All right. Fuck it, I won't say no. You guys are absolute gamers. Is there anything we want to upgrade? So, I would like to upgrade the apparitions. I was going to do feed, get max speed as a resource so I can actually be able to take a hit. So, let's say I don't have apparition. If I don't take apparition, I'm dead. But now we have a Dragonaut, and okay. If we die, it's on you guys. We die, it's on you guys. By the way, death is pretty, pretty eminent, I would say. <laughs> death is pretty eminent here. My deck is trash. I think I'm going to die. I'm just going to put it out there. I think I'm going to die this run. Hobby fights are brutal. Does Rupture help us? No, this this HP is gonna be this energy gonna be really important in the Hollywood boss fights. Twelve cards. Choose wisely, my friend. Do you want a parasite? Another Reaper? Who wants another True Grit? Ain't nobody want another True Grit. Okay, another Reaper. Let's go. We got Reaper decks. Rupture is actually really good for a Reaper deck, but we have no max HP for the Rupture Reaper. So do we just take Fairy in the Bottle so even if we were to die, we never die? Alright, GG. Now this is the worst Fairy in the Bottle I've ever seen. This is the worst Fairy in the Bottle I've ever seen. But... Damn, losing... Carnage feels bad, man. How do, wait, how do I beat this fight? I have to go infinite in this fight? Wait, this feels bad. How do I beat this fight? No carnage. My deck is really slow. This is just really bad. I will do some Reaper stuff. I 
I should have said purity because purity would have got rid of a whole bunch of this shit, right? Basically, we're basically infinite. Here we are. The fact that I have to go infinite in hallway fights is ridiculous. I do not like that. Having to go infinite in hallway fights is not the move. My friend. Should I put that out there? This is not the move. But you know what? The deck would only get cleaner. I'll take it. Thank you for Juggernaut. Juggernaut does save me a lot of time. I mean, I guess as long as I'm not dying going to the infant, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. That is fair. Like, this might be a fight where I could potentially lose. We're gonna have to go infinite quickly. This guy does not fuck around. A lot of energy wasted, but it's life. A lot of energy wasted, but that's life. No strikes. No strikes, no problem. Apparitions. Get the Juggernaut out of the deck. Alright, infinite's approaching. And here it is. Welcome to my big beautiful world of infinite. My deck's not too bad. It gets there. It gets there. Alrighty. Wow, it's gonna be three infinites back to back to back to back to back. Cool. Gorgeous. True Grit Sundial was a vision I had. You know what? We can make Barricade make the whole life easier. For the in between turns. Nah, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Beautiful. Region Pot. Region Pot might be the worst thing I've ever seen. Now, if you guys want to add a clash just to make my life harder, someone said they wanted a clash. No, no, no. Oh, this fight. Wait a fucking minute. I don't have... Wait, this fight is bad. Wait, 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 wait. This fight is... This fight is bad to the bone. This fight is bad to the bone. We gotta be quick in this fight. Oh, sorry, maybe I have to keep maybe I have to keep Carnage around. If I keep Carnage around, maybe it's necessary to keep Carnage around. Now we got this, we got this, we got this.
We got this, boys. Don't worry. I can go infinite quickly. Don't worry. I can go in there very quickly. It's only five burns. What the fuck? It's only five burns to contend with. Wait a minute. Maybe I gotta do a big like flex pot turn. Wait, he's adding more burns? Can you stop with the fucking burns? Brother man. Too many burdens for one man. Luckily, fire breathing is actually a perfect counter to this motherfucker. Excuse my language. Five more burns. I can handle it, buddy. I ain't scared of five more burns. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, chill. Take it back, I take it back. I didn't mean what I said. Not bad, easy fight. Shovel, so we can dig ourselves a grave. All right, big beef for small little infinite deck. Let's dig, let's upgrade, or let's lift. A couple things we can do. Yeah, fire breathing, not only did fire breathing save act one, it saved me in my infinite against the nemesis. So can we just shout out fire breathing? You want to dig or do you want to get the recoil out the way? Let's get the recoil out the way. Maybe digging before this fight's not bad either. Oh my god. Wait, this gives me wounds. I can't catch a break. This gives me wounds. Um. Remember the story about... Oh, remember that evolve that I skipped? Okay, where's the second wind? Second wind makes this a non-issue. Should I kill the mini so I don't get wounds? I probably should. Whirlwind's one way to prevent wounds, but I didn't play it this turn. It can prevent one wound, I guess. So we have one wound and one wound only. I'm good, uh, Varisha. How you doing, buddy? How art thou, wounded JRM1R? Fucking fantastic. About to kick Isaac's ass and make a bellum. I'm ready to kick Isaac's ass and make a bellum. By the way, you should check out Mega Bellum. You would like it. Thank you for the reset, buddy. I was over here being cocky as ever, and I realized these motherfuckers are trying to kill me. Easy. But I might need the next turn. How close am I to getting infinite? Um. I but I should say purity for the wounds, right? I should say purity for the wounds. But I want to draw a full hand. Okay, I say purity for the wounds. And now I need fire breathing to come in clutch here. Very good fire breathing. Let's go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Fire breathing again? Uh huh. There's fire breathing. If I if I draw pro the if I draw, okay. So fire breathing can be clutch here, and fire breathing is clutch here. It wasn't can be, but it is. 
The answer is it is. My breathing is super clutch here. Man, Fire Breathing is save, has saved this run. Who would have thunk? To play the Carnage or let it go. Little Wish called Wounds? I don't see an issue with Wounds. Ain't no Wish with Wounds here. Seems to be no problems at all with these Wounds. I got it covered. Issue with wounds. Where's the issue? Wounds my ass. Look at that. Deck is now infinite. Bye bye. Welcome to my little infinite life. Wow. Fire breathing is amazing. Uh, Act for Elite is tough though. You know, I'm talking all this trash. Act for Elite is going to be very difficult. Dude, Mechabellum's so sick, Bron. Holy crap. I was such a noob on stream. I didn't know what I was doing. And then I, I deep dive with Isaac last night. And there's a lot of depth. Like, I, I finally understand the chest element. I mean, no, there doesn't have to be chest element. But someone said chest element, and I ran with it. And now I can see it. Dude, this game's awesome. Alright, let's go. Bron skills. Another battle trance. Does that help me? Can I do a defect run? Um, maybe. Yeah, we'll do some defect run today. We have a couple of defect runs on YouTube as well. I, my, my goal is to do spy uh, silent defects after this. Second battle trance is second battle trance good or bad? My deck is kind of fat. I say fat. Twenty seven cards isn't fat. Twenty seven cards isn't that fat. Sentinel does um, give me energy. Feather. Feather, feather, feather. Oh, this fight is annoying, actually. This fight is slightly annoying. <laughs> Why did I draw? Ooh. Why did I draw? Just to suffer? The fact that I can't be frail is so cool. So cool. I go infinite so way too quickly for this guy. I go infinite way too quickly for this guy. This guy cannot handle the infinite speed that I'm possessing because frail is not a thing. The battle trance makes my card draw a lot worse though. I do not like that element of it. Alright, practically infinite though. Let's go ahead and make it happen. Eat your turnips, boys. Yay. Juggernaut saves so much time. Yes. Good call on Juggernaut, guys. Yeah, it's super cool, man. So here, here's what we learned, Bron, so I can I can speedrun you a little bit. About the the integrate uh the play between repositioning the air units, because air units have warp drives you can repositioning, and how that affects the enemy's ground units. Because ground units can't reposition as easily. So you can use flanks and different repositioning of air units to commit them to ground units and therefore you can just move your squadrons and because the ground units are set in stone then you can use that to counter with like your front units of your own whether it be like let's say they put a pack of mustangs well then you put a vulcan or some kind of thing to handle those mustangs and put and then reposition the the air units somewhere else it's just like a taste of things you can do um there's a lot of like little intriguing elements like okay you could play in a way that's very tempo oriented. When we get to Mechabellum, I'll show you. I learned I learned I learned a handful of things. 
And apparently Isaac also showed the um, the unit modification thing where he talked to me about it. I haven't seen it. I have to see it for myself. But you can change the loadouts of your units to dictate what upgrades they're going to get. And the melting pot is, uh, he's, uh, he's a, he's a thing. That guy's a thing. Alright, GG. Very easy. Look at that block. Beautiful. A body slam? Any bot- Oh, pommel strike. Boom. I don't always get pommel strike, but when I do, it's green. Okay, nemesis times two. Okay, nemesis times two. Alright, boys. Let's make this happen. I'm not sure the hell why I'm not sure why I added this uh I'm not sure why I did this. But I did. We got this, we got this. this is the easiest fight ever. We got this. We got this, we got this. Easiest fight ever. I can just kill him the old-fashioned way. Like, why bother with infinite? Just kill this guy the old-fashioned way. Your deck has damage. You know what I mean? Just kill him the old-fashioned way. Although, he's ruining my sundown, and I don't like that. Actually, no. He's ruining my sundown, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. It's okay, I can get sundown again. It's not a big deal. Get out of here. What do you want to upgrade now? You want to dig? What's the, what's the better upgrade? Apparition so we can hold on to it? Maybe. Burning patch if I draw more? Maybe. What what can we dig that we really care about? I mean, an instant burner and a Tori. Instant burner, Tori. Those are the cards. Upgrade Dragon Knight just to save even more time in our life. Time is a, it's a resource in our life. Hmm. I guess upgrade apparition is not the worst. So I can save it for a sticky turn, right? At least one of them. At least one of them. And then we can, dig, we can dig, start digging. And then we can start digging, digging. See, this is a good time to save apparition, you see what I mean? Case in point. Apparitions ruins the ink bottle, and I despise that. This fight is actually kind of, getting, kind of annoying. What's up, Danny? How you doing? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you coming from? It's morning over there, so I'm curious where you're. Where you're at? Curious where you're hailing from? They don't have any, bro. Oh, South Africa, very nice, very cool. I was watching this guy, Kurt Katz. He's like a YouTuber. He goes traveling to different countries. He's also from South Africa. I should've done that person first, not that it matters. Beautiful. I gotta hurry up though, wait. I gotta hurry up, this is not good. Not good at all. Wait a minute, this is not good. You, you're, you're an early bird, huh? You wake up early? That's nice. Do you plan for time meter? Um, wait, I'm supposed to have a, I'm supposed to have a plan for time meter. Oh, body slam, body slam, that flame. Okay, so offering is incredible. That's how we go infinite, like that much quicker. But what about body slam to make time meter go night night? I guess time meter don't I have like sufficient block? What is it? What is the plan for time meter? Wait, what is the plan for time meter? All right, so oh, you're in Norway, cool man. So this is where things get interesting because offering is better to get my infinite going. 
and get infinite like on turn four, turn three. But I think body slam is necessary to do the damage output for the time meter. So we play eleven cards, and then boom, we finish a body slam. What do you guys think? Or are you, are you guys confident that I can handle the time meter without the need for body slam? Because offering is really good everywhere else. The deck is a good deck that goes infinite. It plays apparitions, it goes infinite. So I guess time meter on playing 12 cards a turn. And it'd be nice if the, if the 11th card was a body slam, right? It's like plus 42, plus 48 damage. Is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. First, it takes me a while to get to the infinite, right? But I think it is enough. Get to keep my dragon is also doing big damage. I guess time meter, maybe dragon up damage is relevant, no? Dragon up damage is relevant. We also have Flash of Steel, so Flash of Steel is doing something. Upgrade my apparitions. But now I have a night time to upgrade Shrug because Shrug is like a card. Time to upgrade Shrug because Shrug is a card that's gonna do my damage. Imagine having upgrade shrug instead of apparition. That's kind of messed up, huh? infinite we are infinite palmer strike makes my infinite so much better wait instead of doing flashes i just palmer strike infinite palmer strike infinite with shrug wait maybe i don't have to upgrade shrug palmer strike infinite shrug yeah i don't need to upgrade shrug because palmer strike infinite i should have taken the offering i totally forgot that i had palmer strike infinite which increases my damage a lot I take an armament armament is a great card to take in act one i feel like I, I value it higher when I have things like backup prep, when I have card draw like battle trends and offering. I value it as well as a speculative pick before fusion hammer comes in act one. I like it into the guardian because I think upgrading your defense in the guardian is a really good solution. It's good in long fights in general, for like boss fights. So yeah, I like it as an act one pick. We have infinite, right? Over the year, I get info. That's been a thing for some time. What's up, Champion Jack? And it's been a thing for some time. All right, so we have. I think Bison was a troll pick, guys. How do I, how do I resolve this within myself? Because Palmer Strike makes the Sundial so much better. Yeah, we get a guaranteed time meter. I, I, I fucked up. It's okay. It's not really not the end of the world. What if I get? 
you should watch that sister news. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome to Twitch. Um, upgrade now person seems to be the best bet, right? I guess time eater is the only big uh, threat this run. And you're arguing the shrug is better because it gives you three extra block per carp playing against time meter. Also for the hearts can be relevant. And then that also translates into body slam. Dig for calipers, GG. You guys want to dig for Okay, two things we could do. Dig for calipers or insert burner or Tori. Or just upgrade the apparition so it doesn't exhaust. Or upgrade shrug so it's three extra block per play against time meter so that it makes bigger body slams. Caliper doesn't do much against time meter, but it does much for other things. It doesn't do much. Yeah, Caliper doesn't do much. It's, it's it, You're right. I guess the heart, we're going infinite per turn. That's all that matters. All right. Let's see what time meter's got. What does time meter got for us? So far, ain't got nothing. All right. All right. All right. All right. Chill, 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 chill. That's something. So it would be cool to draw into my uh, apparition, right? That would be a cool thing to do. That would be neat, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. So we want to play... I don't think we ever get out of the deck. I'm in the quest of going infinite quickly. 8 times 3, that's child to play. I can take this hit to the face, right? All, all in favor of taking this hit to the face? I gotta save that person for bigger turns. Once we go infinite, we can start going... Uh, One thing I don't like about this turn is that my hand's clogged and I want to draw cards. My hand is clogged and I want to draw cards. I suppose it's not the worst apparition in the world, but nah, it's definitely not the best either. They are taking up space, exactly. They're taking up space. I don't like the I don't like that they're taking up space, but. I could say that Body Slam was mistaken, it's purity out now. And that drawing card just sucks. Gorgeous. We're halfway there. Tom Tastrophe, I expect to go for 100% achievements and I just got it. I hope the runs go well. Hey, congrats, man. Congrats. It's good to hear. The apparitions are holding up, taking up space, but that's okay, huh? That's okay. That's okay. 240 means that's the phase he goes to phase two, exactly. 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 Okay, we draw five cards. Alright, we gotta we gotta go strike going. Alright. Infinite is how close? Not that close. Should I full block this one? What are we thinking? Full block? It means 420. Oh, any number of cards to exhaust. Okay, was the body slam a mistake? 
Can I cancel my elixir? I realize this elixir... I should have done the elixir after I drew that strike. Can I cancel my elixir? R.I.P. Keep holding on to this body slam. Should, is body slam relevant? Right, so now he's going to the next phase. We can play three cards. Three cards equals one, two, three. Three, two, three. And now, how close to infinite are we? I fear we're not close enough. If you're no man, but time it makes me scared. We're infinite. Probably someone's such a crazy pick. I think if I did off me, why does a crazy pick? We're, we're infinite, right? We're infinite? So what's causing problems with the infinite? Does burning pet cause problems? Okay, so how am I going to block 48? By force of sheer will, right? So if I play Shrug six times and block most of it that's not good enough we can get rid of bloodletting now I don't need flash of steel anymore right Flashes are sometimes gonna be extra damage, so like there's times where I can do flashes to pommel, flashes to pommel, right? No, I think struggle is always more damage, but I don't need flashes to anymore. And we go for big dig damage. I could have done ink bottle, I could have played an extra trigger there. We're gonna finish with True Grit Bodies. So we wanna finish with True Grit. True Grit Bodies in them, right? That's the goal. Time Eater's dead. Everybody's happy. It's a damn party in here. And... It's lethal with perfect ink bottle, perfect sundial, perfect everything. My lord, is it gorgeous. Wait, Dragonite wasn't upgraded. Okay, what's the next fight? Okay, Donut Deck was scary, right? But we're good. This fight, so I just gotta kill the cultist and we we, we win, no? Basically. That's the basic gist. Kill the cultist, win game. Question is, is Juggernaut worth it? Is 
Is Juggernaut worth it? Yes or no? Alright, GG. GG, brother. It was nice playing with you. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed pretending like there was a problem here. And game's over. Oh, right, guys. Wow, that was. Uh, we had one scary little run. One scary little run, and then, yeah, we're good now. Absolutely good. Enjoy. Hey, now. You're a rock star. What's up, Superman? How you doing? Doing great. Just, you know, going infinite. Having fun. Let's just do Shrug, because Shrug has body same as a pale, and that is quality of life. For sure. Oh, let me drink some water. One sec. This is hard work. I need to drink some water. Alright, look at the next big thing, guys, I forgot to mention is the Act 4 Elite. So for the actual elite, we have to basically not die. On turn two and three. Which basically means we have to draw into apparitions. It's okay, bottom scan saves me time, don't worry. I think Bodice might be helpful against the Act 4 lead as well. Maybe not. Ah, no. Bodice, you know why Bodice sucks? Because Bodice basically says... Like, once I'm infinite... Bodice does damage, right? But before then, Bodice doesn't do shit. Where, that's why Offering is so much better. Because uh, Offering allows you to get the infinite like whole turn sooner. It's okay, though. We, it's not like we're not we're not gonna disrespect the the, the you know life saving time that Body Sim's offering. Let's take a look. We want to end it on Sundial. We also want to end it on Ink Bottle because that really is a challenge. Incredible. All right, we gotta get. There it is, boys. 
There it is. Perfect sundial. Perfect ink bottle. Love it. Yeah, exactly. We only had it because of timing. Exactly. It was just a temporary solution, and I think it helped. It's okay. I, I'm not. I'm not like super mad about it. It's fine. I think. If anything, it was probably straight respect to do what I did. So, the question is, do we have to hold on to apparitions? I think we do. Like hold on to apparitions for both the heart and I for least seems relevant. We could dig, but upgrading these apparitions seems pretty good. Okay, what about Dolly's Mirror and Apparition? There's the calipers you guys wanted. So if I would have dug, guarantee I would have dug that calipers instead of hit being in the shop. Okay, Dolly's Mirror and Apparition, we never lose, right? It's one extra turn of intangible before I go infinite. My only question is, do you think we are going to have trouble? Wait. And Sever Soul's back. Sever's bolt to... Sever Soul to... Massive. So we could... So we could... Here's the thing. We couldn't find... We couldn't find the second wind. But you know what? Sever Soul's got our back. Or Sever Soul Troll, I don't know. Here's the thing. Almost all my skills I want to play. Like, I'm playing True Grits. And then... Sever Soul doesn't actually do anything. It's Troll because... There's a couple of handful of statuses, but it's, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not good. But it is pretty nice gold-wise. It's not good. It's not good. It's revapor exactly. All right, let's go. How do we? How do we have this? We want to block turn one if if possible. There's all my apparitions. Very good. Very good. It's a nice sight when you have a handful of apparitions. It's a very nice sight. I keep my strikes right because I keep my strikes. That's uh, that's the uh, that's purity fodder. You know what I mean? It's purity fodder. I'm supposed to keep my strikes instead of my hands so I can purif purify them. Whoops. Oopsies. Oh man, this is a tough fight. Maybe if I had focused on killing damage, I would I could have killed these guys sooner, right? Because don't I die next turn? Don't I die next turn? I don't die ever. Dying's not in my repertoire. Bye. 
It's your time to die, my friend. This is bags that he stack up Sundial or the thing. Uh, did I destroy myself? Absolutely. No Sundial? It's okay. It's actually relevant because the heart's harder without the Sundial. It's okay. Evolve. Does Evolve help? Evolve makes you draw on the statuses of the heart. I mean, do we ever have problems drawing cards? No, because our hand's always full. That would help us have your soul, though. Okay. That's right. Let's start getting rid of things. Things I want to get rid of. The next battle trance. sick not putting sundial properly is a little bit of troll just because that that would give me a big boost but it's, okay. I think it's not gonna matter that much here we're never frail so we can save somewhere block it's a perfectly fine operation turn Perfectly not find a person turn though. This body sim, if the body sim was offering this, would be so different. Body sim is causing some problems. Is it not? It sort of is. Could have saved that person there, shouldn't have, because that was only. Eh, it's fine. I'm supposed to do my hands fucking clogged. I need my purity. My hands clogged. Purity. Am I using Apparition again next turn? If I use my, uh, my throwing the bottle this turn, if I even need it, I'm not even sure if I even need it. Drain the bottle this turn? Probably, right? What do you guys think? Just take Fairy Bottle now and then we can use the apparition for the next um, multi tech. We should be infinite, but I think we're, we're going to be infinite for the next attack, anyways. So we can just use Fairy now. Yeah, let's use fairy now. Ah, uh, we should use fairy now, right? If I even can. We're kind of far from infinite, though. We're not that far from infinite. No, we're not that far from infinite. We're not that far. I could do it on the next big attack. I can block this big attack. I can do it on the next big attack. On 
the next big attack I can do it. Right? Their crop is Shorty Valley. I haven't been Shorty Valley in a long ass time. Infinite has arrived. So what would you guys get rid of? Battle Trance? Are we ever playing Blood Lightning? Never playing Blood Lightning, right? Today they're delicious. Ooh, parsnips are delicious. Just gotta block the bare minimum. We can do fairly bottom next turn if you wanted to, or we can just full block, which I'm lean towards full block. Because we're infinite. We don't need two true grids. I don't wanna. Make sun I want to make sure Sundial's proct. Let's do that again. Alright, let's go. Sundial's the most important thing. I don't care about anything else. Alright. We go infinite here. C'est la vie. It's block positive. I'll do a little flex pot just to make my life feel fuller and then we kill on the following turn a gg i got a sundown and i said i'm gonna infinite this pirate and it happened i could do this yeah block positive Right, you bought them. How'd you how'd you prepare them? You eat them raw? How about we just use fair in the bottle to make my life easier, huh? Fairy me. Boom! GG! Then. Boom. Oh, wait, that was supposed to finish. Juggernaut's got the job. Look at Juggernaut go. Boy, then put the rest in a halibut casserole. Oof, man. You got it. You got me in the mood to start cooking. So that was a cool run, guys. We had one goal in mind and we made it happen. There was some fights that were scary, like, oh man, Nemesis, Reptomancer, even Time Eater, but Fire Breathing was king in most of them, and then Time Eater wasn't too bad. Who would have thunk that fire breathing is the perfect counterpart to infinite?